Hi everyone, this is Dr. Hudgens. I'm going to give you some tips on how to insert text boxes so that you can properly format your digital poster and get it ready for presentation. The first thing I'm going to suggest is that when you open the template that you go ahead and save it to wherever you save your files under your own name. This is going to help you be able to have your own copy and make changes as needed. So as you can see, I'm going to open it up. I put all of my documents in Dropbox. It's a cloud storage that helps me have my documents wherever I am and I don't have to keep up with flash drives or worry that I have lost something. So as you can see, I've saved my file. I've put my last name on it so I know that it's mine. So now I have my own copy of the digital poster template and now I'm going to go in and I'm going to insert a text box. I'm going to use general topics that I'm familiar with instead of trying to to type up uh, a research project so we'll use some things that are just user friendly just to have some fun with. So when you look for your insert text box you're going to hit the insert tab. You're going to locate your text box. You're going to click on it and then go down into wherever you want to type and, in, and click, you're going to left click and open up a field and you can see that a box appears and then the cursor shows up in the box and it's flashing. It's important to know that before you start typing that you should change your font color. If you go under up here to the top menu bar you can see where your font color is listed. I'm going to change it to black not because it's overly exciting but because it's easy to see. And now when I type you can see the story of Madeline and Gracie. As you can see, I've misspelled Gracie, so I'm going to backspace and change it so I'm spelling it correctly. Just like in Word, if you do have a spelling error, if let's say I've missed this, you can see that Madeline becomes red linked just like it does in a Word document. And you can go in and fix it manually or you can actually um, left click and get menu options. The other thing that you can do is you can change the size of your text box. You can stretch it out. You can make it smaller. You can also change the size of the font that's in the text box. So you can highlight it and go under where your formatting tools are. I'm going to change the type of format to Arial because I like it better. And I'm going to change the size and make it just a little bit smaller so that you can fit it in there. So we'll make it, let's make it 40. Okay, so now we have a text box. So let's say that instead of typing in to a text box, you would prefer to copy and paste from a Word document. What you're going to do is you're going to go up and you're going to insert, go back to your insert tab, you're going to go across and you're going to hit a text box. You're going to open up the text box. You'll see your cursor there. And then you're going to go down to your Word document. You'll open that up and you can copy exactly what you want to put in there. You're going to hit copy. And now you're going to go back over to your PowerPoint. And when you get there, you can right click and it will give you the options of what to put into that box. As you can see, it looks like I didn't put anything in there. But remember, all of these boxes are made to have white font. So you're going to highlight it, go back up and click on black and ta-da, there it is. So you can stretch this out and make this a little bit bigger or even go back and change the size of the font. So as the story says, Madeline and Gracie are my puppies, and they were born almost exactly a year apart. Odd but true. So we're going to make that font a little bit smaller by changing that font size. Now let's say that in your, as you're writing this, you decide you want to move things around. I can click on this text box and I can move it wherever I want it. I can move it over here to the abstract. I can shrink it and make it fit in that space if I would like it to. And then if I have lots of information, I can make that font smaller so that um, all of my information properly fits. So let's say you want to insert a picture. Ooh. I'm going to go under Insert, 
create a text box. And I'm going to make the box right here. And then I'm going to go, I keep my, this picture on my desktop. So I'm going to go onto my desktop. And I'm going to find the picture that I'm looking for. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go back to my text box and I'm going to paste it. And as you can see for its own formatting, it made it a, go in a different direction. So I can take this little green dot and I can make it the correct size or the correct direction. And now I can stretch it and there are Madeline and Gracie. Now as you develop this slide set, I want to remind you that this poster, when you are done, if you published it, you would put it into the size of normally a three foot by four foot poster and have it printed for publication. For your purposes, you're just going to do this digitally, save it and submit it in Blackboard. I want you to remember that when you think about your font size, I'm using a pretty big font to make my, my point, but for your purposes, this font may have to get a little bit smaller so you can get all your content on there. Remember, if I make this small, remember that it's going to get enlarged if you print it, the poster, in a three foot by four foot size. So, I hope that this has been beneficial. I would love to be able to finish the story of Madeline or Gracie, but unfortunately, they need my attention. Good luck.